I know there's probably not a single person on earth that actually enjoys drawing a box and whisker pot, but nevertheless, in this video, we're going to be going through every single way they like to ask in your Statistics 1 final examination on box and whisker plots. So I've extracted all of the times they have asked on box and whisker plots below. Uh, and I've got the answers there for you, but simply in this video, we're just going to go through a good example of this. Okay, so let's do an example. We've got a survey of 55 students, and it's measuring their total kilometers that they travel to school in a particular week, and all this data is shown below. And it wants you to, uh, on a grid, uh, draw a box and whisker plot to illustrate this data. And to draw a box and whisker plot, we need some key information from the data. We need the lowest value here, which is five. Um, we need the lower quartile value, the medium, we need the upper quartile value, and we need the highest value, well that's just 70 here. So we have those two. So now let's find the median, which is the middle value of the data. Well, if there's 55 students, that means that the, the data point, the middle data point, is going to be 55 plus 1 over 2, right? It's one over two, which is 56 over two, which is 28. So it's the 28th data point. So we can count 28 in. So, because they're in order, right? So we can just count um, 28 in. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's 11 in each line. So it's 11, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You can see that's middle anyway. So it's the 28th data point. So your medium is 25. And then the lower quartile and upper quartile, well, I mean, you've got your 25 point here. And then you've got an equal number of data points on either side of that, which if this is the 28th, then that means you've got 27 data points here and 27 data points here. So the lower quartile, the way I like to think about it, is the medium of this lower, um, all the points on that side, on the lower part of the medium of this 25 data point and the upper quarter is the is the medium of this of the upper data set you know so if we think about it, this 27 data points well the middle of that one will be 27 plus 1 which is 28 divided by 2 is 14 so it'd be the 14th so you count 14 in to get the lower quarter and then you also count 14 in here to get the upper quarter so 14 in here will be well 11 12, 13, 14, so that's your upper quartile, it's 50, and then 14 then will be 11, 12, 13, 14, well that's 18. So then you have all of your uh, relevant data points, so now you can uh, draw your box on this sort of thing. So I pick a good scale here because, you know, it's I can see that maybe 5, 10, this will be a good one. You know, all of this stuff, I don't really know, I find this stuff kind of boring personally, but, you know, they want you to learn it for some reason, but it, all it is is they're just giving you, like, you don't know shit from this data. If you look at this data here, like, it doesn't tell you anything, really, and so representing the data with, let's say, a box and whisker, not that anyone really does that, just shows you, like, a more like important information from the data like the medium and important ranges like the middle 50% and stuff like that so that's that's what they're trying to show you here by getting you to learn these things um, so the lower value is 5 uh, then you've got your lower quartile which is 18 which is 2 in here which is 18 here uh, then you've got your upper quartile which is 50 um, then you've got your medium, which is 25. So you just put all these points in. Medium, so I'll draw so your box here. And then you've got that medium value. Uh, and then you've got your upper quartile. I mean, you've done that, I've done that. So then you've got highest value, which is 70. And so that's your box and whisker plot there and you can see that you can see okay so this data has kind of like a skew to it like the medium the middle value is over here so more of the data points you know are on that side and shows you sort of the range and it shows you different things about the data which you couldn't see on face value by just looking at it um, and then 
it wants you to find, so it says the outlier is defined as a data value which is 1.5 times the interquartile range above or below. So it wants you to find, so an outlier would be, so first you find an interquartile range which is going to be your upper quartile minus your lower quartile. So that's going to be 50 minus 18 which um, is 32 and so 1.5 times your interquartile range equals uh, is 48. So it says that a um, outlier is something so if we have your uh, lower quartile minus 48 if there's uh, data values that are um, below that they're Consider an outlier and the same goes for your upper quartile as well. That's what they're saying So if we look at the lower quartile value minus 48, well, that's going to be um, 18 minus 48 which is minus 30 and so is there going to be any um, Data values which are minus 30 and less than minus 30. Well, no, this is like less than zero You can't have someone traveling to school um with negative kilometers unless they're like some sort of wizard or something and they can like bend space-time um, so no there's no outliers there and then the upper quartile plus 48 well that's just uh, 50 plus 48 which is 108 and the highest value we have is 70 and that's greater than 70 here so there's going to be no data points which are greater than 70 and great which are 108 and greater so we can say there's no um, outliers Okay, so that that's a good example of box and whisker uh, plots. So go and download that worksheet, which has all of those um, past paper examples of box and whisker plots. Uh, but that's it for me. Please hit that like button uh, for me. And if you find this content useful, please just subscribe. It makes me feel so good inside. Um, but I'll see you in the next video.